What is up YouTube? Jesse here again. Uh, today I'm working on a project to uh, fix my, I guess, step up into the house. Um, currently, this is what I got. Uh, it's just a bunch of bricks that lead up to the house. That uh, The gap right there is right at about um, two and a half inches. Or no, three and a half inches, sorry. Three and a half inches underneath of the, the edge of the house here. Um, so this is what my plan is. I'm going to uh, use two by fours, which actually measure at uh, three and a half by, what is it? Three and a half by one and a half. They're one and a half inches wide like in thickness and they're three and a half inches tall and uh, uh let's see pull this out right here yeah. all right so the, the two by fours are actually three and a half inches tall and so are these bricks three and a half inches all of them so using a two by four is the perfect uh i guess height for it or whatever but this is what my plan is i'm gonna put a two by four in the back um underneath of you know the step here and then i'm gonna have one that comes out the side and down through the middle i'm going to run Actually, I haven't finalized this plan yet because I just started thinking about it and came out here to do it. But it's, uh, as you see, the it's actually kind of crooked. I don't know if it's the, the house to the porch, but that gap is off a little bit. So I'll have to see if it's the house to the porch or maybe that line coming off of the porch is just not straight. When they created the concrete. Um, but anyway... Uh, so I'm going to have one in the back and one running all the way around and I'm going to frame it in. Um, but instead of just framing in these, what is this, four by fours or one, two, four, these 20 bricks into a frame, uh, what I want to do is I want to space it apart. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger where there's, uh, what is it? Basically, I'm going to eliminate one of the brick sections. See, look, these things have been here for a while. It's all kind of dirty under here. I pressure washed this um, driveway a while back. But I'm thinking eliminate a whole section, either that or make another one. But or add a section, I guess. Uh, but I want to make a one and a half inch gap. Yeah, I think I'll add another section because I got more bricks. So I'm gonna make a one and a half inch gap there. here Grab the best looking ones. No, you're not the best looking one. You're all dented and broken. Ow. Fingers.
there's a chip on that one. Oh, come on, I ain't got any of them that aren't chipped. Huh, that chip is small. That'll work. All right, so that's my plan. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Um, I think I just finalized the plane at least. So it'll go from here down, all the way across, around, and up. And then it'll have one in between here and one in between here. And I'm not sure, should I space the center apart and put one up the middle? now because it'll require me using more toenailing for that so you want to try to avoid having to toenail anything in there but i think that'll look a lot better so let's uh see here i need to check and see if i have enough scrap wood like I said before, this is a rental. I don't want to spend money on wood if I don't have to, to do this whole thing. Uh, so I need one, two, three, four pieces that are, let's see, two of them are going to be two and a half inches, or two and a half feet, not two and a half, two and Ten, was it ten and seven sixteenths, or eight sixteenths? No, that's half. Nine sixteenths. Two and nine sixteenths. Two feet, ten inches, nine sixteenths. So I need four of those. So that's what. That's two, four, six, eight. Four tens is forty. Yeah, I should have enough wood. That's like it's another four. Yeah, I got enough wood to do it. It's just some spare wood that I had that I found on the side of the road. I'm gonna go through and uh <clears throat> actually going to get my pressure washer out because this wood is not in the greatest shape. <clears throat> I've got a couple pieces that are okay looking and pretty solid, but not really uh, clean looking. So I got this camera around here. I've got this one that's in pretty good shape. It's pretty thick and stable in this one. And then uh, on the other side over here, uh, here we go. And then this one right here, it's nice and, and thick. I think between those three pieces, I should have enough because it's only going to be, I think, uh, what was it? Eight, nine, 10, 11. And then I forgot to measure the other way. Leave it to me while doing something to forget to do something. Uh, I need 11 feet and then... Oh, come on. 12, 13, 14, 15... I need about 16 feet of board. Sixteen feet of board. Let's see what we got going on over here. Big long one is seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 
there's other Let's see if we can get this thing to be stable for me. Got another board here. Not quite as good of a shape. It's eight feet long, eight feet seven inches. I'm gonna avoid using that one if I can. Because it's kind of messed up. So that one's seven feet. That one's four foot five inches. The other one's roughly the same size. It's uh, four foot five inches. So that's let's see, seven and eight. That's fifteen and a half. Ooh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna cut it real close. So now the question is, this board here, not as not as good, not as thick. I guess I could cut it off and use it in the back. Actually, I think this one was just a hair taller than the other ones too. It was like nine sixteenths instead of a half on thickness. Uh, so. Now let's uh, grab these boards here. Uh, all right, I'll put you down for a second and uh, I'm gonna move some stuff around and I'll come back. All right, so I moved some things around here. I uh, got um, a couple pieces of wood out. Um, I went ahead and slapped these two in here just so I can see what they look like. Um, I have not cleaned the wood yet because I think I'm going to um, cut everything down so everything doesn't get all wet over here before I start working. And uh, I'm gonna cut it all down to size and nail it all up. And I'll get the pressure washer out. And um, Actually, before I nail it up, I might get the pressure washer out and then do the nailing after that's done. But I got this big board here. I get those two small ones and then I've got this one here and they're all pretty uh, pretty solid still even though they look like crap uh, got the hammer and nails uh, here we've got my circular saw and a power cord and I forgot my tape measure we are back all right I'm back and uh, so basically what I want to do is I want to make this tight because, see, this is the problem that I have. You walk up here, and you hit one of these bricks, and it just, like, they move out of the way. They, you know, if you step on the edge of one, it's going to tip over, and uh, you could get hurt. So it's kind of a safety thing, kind of a, I just want a project to do thing. Um, and I think it'll look a lot better once it's done. So, Gunner, you can't go any further. Your cable stops there, bud. <clears throat> But yeah, so I'm going to get this cut out. Let's see here. <clears throat> All right. So we are at two feet, ten inches, and three quarters. How about you? Same thing. Two feet, ten inches, and three quarters. And well, that one's like two feet and just under three quarters. So the bricks aren't perfectly exactly the same length, but they're pretty close. This board is actually a little bit taller. It's probably gotten a little bit more water damage to it. So I'm gonna use it last and put it on the back side. But these boards, I mean, this height is nearly perfect. I mean, there's tiny little 
lip on it. But, like I said, it ain't gotta be perfect. Said what, two feet, 10 inches and three quarters? Yeah, two feet, 10 inches and three quarters. Where I put my pencil at. There it is. Two feet, ten inches, and three quarters. Looks like there was a slug here. I'm just going to use these two boards here. It's kind of a, you know, like a sawhorse. Um, so I've got my mark here and I'm going to cut it out and I'll be right back. So, like I said, this wood, even though it looks pretty crappy on the outside, the inside, in really good shape that's just cutting it off the outside like very very small sections of it right where I cut right here is a little bit soft and I'm sure that it's probably going to um, to rot it's like I got a little bit crooked on it but whatever the saw kind of got stuck for a second I didn't have it clamped down and so it was moving under my foot so I was trying to cut it and cut it off. So there's one. And that'll get nailed together in the ends. Let me get this all cut up and I'll come back. All right, so I got the first two middle boards right there cut. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, so I can get the correct measurement, um, I pulled the whole thing out from the wall and as you can see, it's very dirty under there. Um, I'm gonna pull these in tight right here. And I'm gonna measure from that board at the end, you know, that board at the end, all the way across to that board, because what I want to do is I want this, this piece on the side here, and this piece on the side here to be the cap for all, one, one two, three, four, five, all six boards. So I'll just put nails in the ends um, of all of these boards on both sides and that should hold everything together real nice so I'll be back all right so the ends of this board are damaged um, from here back on this side and down here from here back um, I measured that distance from there to there and it's two feet six inches pretty much exactly and uh, so let's just see if I the damaged area is about eight inches worth on this side and five, no, six inches on this side. That's 14 inches. Yeah, 14 inches. I need two feet, six inches. So, well, I need exactly five feet. But 
take off, let's just say the six inches on that side. So five foot six should get it. Though I think I want to use which side seems drier. Doesn't really matter which side I use. So I need five feet exactly. So if I do, like I said, it's six inches of crap on this side. Um, I think just that's it. Yeah, it seems like it. So if I do a cut at five feet and six inches, I can then just cut off the end afterwards. so I ended up being one of these sections short technically I had enough lumber with all of these extra pieces to make that but after cutting everything off to the right sizes I ran out so I had to grab this board I'm not too thrilled about it because it's in pretty bad shape it's it's not quite as um, stable as the rest it's, you know it's it's okay on the inside inside but the outside is in really bad shape so what's going to happen with this one is this board is going to go in the back underneath of the the steps and out of sight and that side is in much worse condition than this side like this side the end of it is actually in good shape but as you go up the board further up the board it gets worse and worse so i need another two feet ten and three quarter inch board and then I can get to cleaning everything up. I'm going to pressure wash all of the boards, move all the bricks out of the way and clean the concrete and then uh, clean the boards and the bricks and then put it all together. So I'll be back. All right so all the boards are cut out. This is what the final product is going to look like. I'm actually I do like that a lot. I'm really glad I didn't put another board going up the middle um, of it. Plus, it's going to be basically the perfect width for the door. It's not going to be too wide. And, uh, yeah, so they get the pressure washer out and get the hose all set up and everything and get to cleaning everything before I put it all together. Hi, right, YouTube. It's a little bit later. I've got all the boards apart, all the bricks moved out of the way and this one I'm starting out with a big old dirty spot under where the bricks were at um, the bricks themselves are quite dirty on many of them and uh, yeah so let's get to work I don't really have anywhere I can set you I don't think uh, let's try this so I'm gonna try something else well, unfortunately, uh, my pressure washer decided to have an issue. I got all the boards clean. Um, this side was only, I don't know, I don't remember which one. One side was at 1800 PSI. And somebody's over here using a chainsaw, I think. Oh no, post hole digger. They're building a fence and using a post hole digger. But anyway, um, I got the boards washed i got the bricks all washed off um but like i said the uh, pressure washer started having an issue and as you can see this area here from that line back was when it was working right and then inside of there that's the best that it could do it was running it probably like i don't know I'm guessing somewhere around 900 by instead of uh, 1800. It was like half of the power that it normally has. And uh, this is what it does when you come now. I think it has a leak somewhere. So every time it does that, it actually shoots water out of the electrical plug. So I think it's got a leak. 
Sorry about the noise, but so I'm gonna end up uh, probably not using it anymore, take it apart and try to figure out where the leak is. Uh, but for now, you know, I got all of the uh, bricks clean and all the wood clean that I'm gonna use. And uh, so I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get started on putting it all together. All right, YouTube, I'm back again. Um, and uh, I got it finished, but I'm gonna make an adjustment. This is what it looks like. So like I said, it's basically the exact width of the door frame. Uh, it's pretty much centered on the door frame. Maybe a little tiny bit to the left, but um, you're not going to walk all the way to the right anyway because the door is there. Um, but it seems like it's, uh, I don't know, like the nails that I put in it, I use these, uh, oh, these long nails here. I think they're two and a half inches possibly. No, three inch. They're three inch nails. Um, but they're not holding real well. You know, they seem like they're coming out too easy or whatever and I don't want that to happen so what my plan is is I'm going to drill another pilot hole right in between because what I did the on the other ones is I uh, pre-drilled all those nail holes to line up with the boards right down the middle on both sides I can see those better over here in the sunlight but uh, like I said, it doesn't seem like it's holding real well. So I'm going to pre-drill another hole right in the middle between the two uh, nails on each side. And I'm going to put, I have a three inch lag bolts. So that's, that's my plan. I'm hoping the lag bolts will pull the, the boards together better, hold better. And uh, just given overall, you know, better fit, better holding of the uh, of the boards. So I'll be back to show you when I'm done. All right, I just finished with the uh, the three inch lags. Um, I know not much; it's not real expensive. But this little Hitachi impact gun just put eight three inch lags in the side of this thing and uh it definitely seems like it sturdied it up a little bit i even sucked them into the wood a little um so hopefully between the three inch lags which probably would have been enough all by itself and the two nails in each board this thing isn't going to fall apart any soon and uh that's the end of the video um if you like seeing projects like this and i know i didn't really video the projects going together but i don't have a tripod or anything to put the uh the phone on because so i don't have gopros i don't have anything special i just have my cell phone and so that's what i'm shooting all this video on but that's it uh it's uh, july 2nd i think yeah july 2nd 2021 and uh that project is done and uh, now I'm gonna go through and get the water hose and try and see if I can't get rid of some of this muck that was left behind. Um, would have been much easier with the pressure washer, but what can you do? I'll probably have to take it apart and see if I can figure out what's wrong with it. Like I said, I think it's uh, I think it sprung a leak, so hopefully uh, I'll be able to figure out what the problem is, where the problem is, and fix it myself without having to buy a new one. Although I do want to eventually get a gas-powered one, a little bit more pressure, um, a little bit more portable. Don't really need a, a wall outlet. So I'd like to try um, taking the pressure washer out and uh, making a little money with it, doing sidewalks and driveways and even the occasional house, I'm sure. Um, I know my 1800 PSI one did pretty good for my house, um, and I'm, I think... You know the the gas powered ones are you know somewhere around like 2400 to 4200 psi um maybe give me one of them surface cleaners too so it'll make it easier to um actually do driveways and sidewalks 
because I I've been looking around just in my neighborhood just driving the normal streets that I drive up and down and there's definitely some houses and some driveways and sidewalks leading up to houses and in front of houses by the street that could use a good pressure washing. My neighbor is one of them, for instance. I already asked her if she wanted me to do her driveway. Obviously that was before my pressure washer broke, um, but yeah, she said she'd think about it. That's it, YouTube. Uh, if you like this content, like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want, and I'll see you next time.